Hello everyone. Welcome to the video demonstration of the feed campaign of WP Content Pilot. First, we are going to try the free features. Then we will try the premium features. Let's jump over to all campaigns. From the add new option at the top, let's add a new feed campaign. To get started with any campaign, first of all, we need to give the campaign a name. After naming our campaign we are directly jumping to the actions section to set the campaign target, campaign frequency, and most importantly turn the campaign status to on. Next, you need to put a feed link or multiple links in the campaign options to fetch posts from those links. We are choosing to use a summary as an excerpt from the available options for now. Apart from that, from the post settings let's assign the posts of this campaign to a category and also assign a tag with the category. Let's update and run the campaign. Finally, we have published a post from the RSS campaign. Next, we will enable the limit title and limit content options from the advanced settings section. Now let's update the campaign and hit on the run button to check those changes. You can see that the latest post successfully limits both the title and the content. We will now activate the premium version of the WP Content Pilot to try the premium features on our campaign. We have now access to select frequency units in minutes. We are enabling feed to fetch full content and set the first image as the featured image. From the other options let's select strip original links, skip duplicate title and use the original post date if possible. Finally, we are selecting the last three options so that there is a featured image even if the post does not have any image and assign important link tags. Now we are enabling the option, keyword to category with keyword corona and also keyword to tag with the same option. Let's set word limits and customize the excerpt length with the newly available options. After publishing a new post the first thing visible to us is the new excerpt length. Inspecting the source link also shows us that there are additional link tags available with the link. We can also see that the original post has links with it but our post does not have those links. Now we will use the translation feature. From the Translate to option, select your desired language from the drop-down options. The translation worked perfectly here. We can also see that the canonical link tag is also perfectly placed with our post. Now we are adding meta as the meta key and value as the meta value. The newly published post confirms that our post has the custom meta in it. Next, we are assigning coronavirus as the required word and cancer as the banned word. The required word will look for coronavirus in the post to publish it and the banned word will look for the word cancer to restrict a post from being published. We are also assigning a search replace to find coronavirus and replace it with COVID-19. Let's update and run the campaign to see the results. Let's compare the generated post with the original post. The original post has coronavirus but it has been changed to COVID-19 in our post. Let's give a try to the post type and publish the post as a page. Now let's assign different post statuses like private, draft, and pending and watch them in action.
Thanks for watching.